City leaders say they're fully funding schools, but teachers say they're getting a raw deal from Newport News. That budget battle is our top story at 11 o'clock. Thanks for staying up. I'm David Allen. And I'm Nicole Livas. This all played out during tonight's city council meeting. The superintendent asked for $113 million. That could include enough money for teacher raises and improvements to aging buildings. It would be a 3.5% increase over last year's budget, but the city manager's budget fell short of that by $3 million. That did not sit well with teachers. Chidu Her starts us off tonight. Mary Vaus in front of City Council voiced her opinion. Every year they've given us either stagnated funding or this year level funding, which is, you know, an even worse insult. She was one of many teachers unhappy with the funding talks. Please vote against this budget that does not fully fund our schools as taxpayers and homeowners in Newport News, our children deserve better. Why would our city keep putting our schools on the chopping block? Our students, the future of our city, the teachers and the school employees, not a cornerstone to our city. The city manager's initial budget did not fully fund the school board's request for $113.3 million. But after meeting with the school board, the city came up with the $2.4 million to fully fund that money coming from a one-time payment from the city's general fund. That means city council is giving schools the extra money they asked for and provides a budget next year that is 3.5% higher than this year. The reason I suggested categorical was just in one area to put a certain amount in so the teachers would get and staff would get the raises they deserve. That is the decision of the school superintendent and the school board. Not ours. Val says this is a short term fix and teachers turn their backs to council after the budget was adopted. It's a band aid and we're still going to have to go back to ask for long term funding unless they come up with an actual solution such as a revenue revenue sharing agreement. All right, Chinu, so how did this vote break down uh, during the budget adoption process? Well, David, this is what it looks like. First off, it was not a unanimous vote. Uh, Councilman Jenkins and Councilman Harris both voted against it. Councilman Jenkins also agreeing with that teacher you heard there, wanting a more long-term fix, while Councilman Harris says this budget process was divisive and he hopes next year will be different. All right, Chinu, thank you.